let's take a look at Parade. Parade is a two to six players card game and it's published by uh, Zeman Games. I think it's quite difficult to find now and it's 2018, uh, but I hope that Zeman Games will reprint it because it's a game that you must have. It's one of my favorite games and it's just a card game. But what I like about it is that it's got a couple of mechanics that are a bit different from all other card games that I played. So let's look inside the box. Let's say the production quality is really good. The cards are really nice, nicely made, and the art on them is absolutely beautiful. As you can see from the art and the and the box, the game is themed as a Alice in Wonderland game. Even though the theme doesn't really add anything to the game. What you are trying to do is you are trying to score the least point, the least points against your uh, opponents. So how does the game work. Uh, you've got, first of all, uh, six suits uh, of different colors. There you go. You've got purple, blue, black, yellow, red, and green. And uh, each suit has got numbers that range from zero uh, to ten. So what you need to do is as I said, you need to score the least points at the end of the game. And the end game is triggered by two events. One is uh, either you finish off the deck or one of the players has collected all of the six colors of the suits. So for a two-player game, even though two-player game has got slightly different rules, so I'm gonna simulate a three-player game. So. Everyone starts with five cards. Five, five. I need some space in the middle to create the parade, as the title of the game says. And uh, what you do, you uh, create a parade of six cards. And the idea is that this parade will move because what you're gonna do is you're gonna add card to the parade and pick up cards from the parade. That mechanic is sometimes confusing for people to understand. So on your turn, as you said, you've got five cards. And what you need to do is you need to add a card to the parade, as I said, and then pick up cards based on what you've added. How does it work? So the value on the card is really important and the color is important as well. So for example, if I add a six at the end of the parade, what I need to do, I need to count up to six that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And all the cards beyond that if they match the color of the card that I placed, I will need to pick them up. But also if the value of those cards is equal or less than the card that I played, I will need to pick them up. In this case, I just got rid of a card, which is a six. You come back, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are no cards that way. That's your turn done. Don't need to do anything else. And then you draw back up to five cards. But say that I've Instead of playing the 6, I played a 1. So in this case, what I need to do, I need to count that way the value of the card, so 1. Now, after this, I will need to pick up all the cards that match that color that I've, of the card that I played, so all the blue cards, and also all the cards that are equal or less in value of the card that I played. So in this case, I will just pick up this five and I don't put it in my hand I just put it in front of me and you will continue doing that so everything moves up 
and you will every player will take a turn and they will start picking cards up and so far and so forth. What's gonna happen at the end of the game, either when a player collects all the six suits or the decks of card runs out, is that you will need to score. But actually before scoring, there is a last round where everyone takes gets a go, uh, the normal go, so you place a card, you pick up card. Then when you are left with four cards, you need to decide to discard two cards and keep other two cards that you can add to the collection of cards that you've uh, collected during the game. And that is a really important step because as we're gonna see how you score is gonna change the score dramatically. So how does the scoring work? So at the end when the end of the game is triggered and everyone has selected uh, two cards to keep and place them in front of them you will end up with a situation whereby say for two players you've got this so this player has got two blues three blacks and one red and say that I end up with something like this and this and say just for sake of argument that okay so this is the end situation for one player and this is another player how do you score that is you start looking at colors, so you can start from the color blue, for example, and then you check whoever's got the most cards will turn their cards of that suit upside down, like that. So in this case, this player had three blues, the other player only had two, so the three, the guy with the three, player, with the three cards, the three blue cards, will turn them around. And that's the blue done. And you start with another color, the other color is black, for example. So this guy, this guy's got three black, this player got three, three black cards. I have none. So they will turn them round. Then start with purple. Purple, I've, I've got cards, they don't, so turn them round. Red, I've got more cards than them, I'll turn them round. Green. They don't have any green, I turn them round. Yellow, they don't have any yellow, I turn them round. So now you need to figure out your score. So everyone will do that. And uh, what's gonna happen is that you need to now count your points. And cards face up, you need to count the value of the card. Cards face down, they will count for one point. So this player will score 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 9, 20. This player will score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this player will win this match. And you can see how the last turn when you get to keep two cards and add them to your um, set of cards that you already got in front of you can really change the game because for example if this player kept a blue and a red card at the end of the game he would have added them here and here and at that point both player will be able to turn the cards round and if that happened if we score again if we go through the scoring again they got the same amount of cards so they are the two players with the most blues they will both turn them round then black if this is the player with the most black cards he will turn this round this is the player with the most purple cards turn it round now red, they both have two, so they both turn them round. 
and they get turned around as well because this player is the only one with yellow and green. And now if we score again, you'll see the difference. So now this player scores 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the previous scenario, he scored 20 points. Now it went down to 8. And this player, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The same amount. And this is, as I said, one of my favorite games. I love the art on, on it. I love the pain in your head to work out which cards you will be able to pick up if you play a specific card. But also try and plan ahead and see if you can get the, uh, the zero value cards if you can. But also keep an eye on all other players' uh, collection of cards to make sure that when you reach the end of the game, uh, you will score less than them. And on top of that, also might maybe try and trigger the end of the game early enough when you think you've got a good chance to uh, win the game. And this is amazing for a card game. It's absolutely brilliant. I always try and kind of sneak it in when we uh, meet up for uh, game night. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it gets uh, a lot of uh, uh, playtime because uh, either I don't explain it correctly or maybe people would like to, or they think it's a card game, it's gonna be quick, or it's gonna be uh, easy to play and we're not gonna spend much time thinking about it. But it's as, it, as you've seen, and I hope you, uh, you agree, is a really great uh, card game that you should add to your collection. So, Zeman Games, please republish Parade. See you next time.